The Fibonacci retracement tool is a drawing tool that a lot of traders like to utilize to help look for areas of support and resistance within a range that the market price has a high probability chance of going to along with where it's projected to go to as well. So to start off, the first thing we're going to do is map out a Fibonacci location. And I'm just gonna do a simple area here where I'm gonna look for a high price and then a low price. And what I wanna do is use this Fibonacci retracement tool to look for a bearish Fibonacci of where I can expect the market to go. And what I'm gonna do is go to drawing tools up on the top toolbar and go to Fibonacci retracements. I'll click at the very first spot and then drag my mouse to the second spot where I'd like to place it and anchor the Fibonacci retracement tool to that location. Now, this may look a little different at first. And the whole point of this tool is basically to map out your 0% line all the way to a 100% retracement. So you have a range from zero to 100. So what I do is select the Fibonacci tool itself, right click it and go to properties. And with it selected, scroll down to where it says levels and click edit price levels. And the first thing I'm going to do is set my zero and my 100% levels to a color such as black. And what that's going to do is tell me my range from 0% of a retracement all the way to 100% of the retracement, meaning the market went all the way back to that level. I like to set those to zero. So where it has value, I set it to zero and 100 for the second one. Then I start mapping out all of the Fibonacci retracement levels in between. And I like to color code those as well. And I start off with 23.6 for value for the first. That is gonna be a 23.6% retracement, also known as a 0.236, meaning the market retraced from that 100% level, 23.6% from that price location. Next, I will do 38.2, which will be labeled here as 38.2. That's a 38.2% retracement or a 0.382. The next point will be the 5.0 or 50% retracement. We put under value 50. And that's going to be the halfway point between the zero and the 100% retracement level. We color this red. And then 61.8%, also known as the 618, that is also colored red. After we do this, I set the next level to 78.6 or a 786 retracement, I color that green. And that means basically the market has retraced 78.6% back towards the initial starting point. And then the last level for the retracement is going to be the 86 level. And when I see this here, I'll color this blue to signify this is going to be the 86 Fibonacci level. Once we have done this, what I'm going to do now is add on my extensions. And what that is going to be is a number that's going to be outside of that internal range, that retracement range. This is going to show me the extensions of where I can expect the market to go to if it closes outside of that Fibonacci range. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up my 61.8% extension, meaning I'm expecting the market to break through and go 61.8% above that 0% level. And that'll be color coded red. And the value will be negative 61.8. And what that is going to do is correlate the red colors, the 618, the 50, the 382, and the 236 to that 61 0.8% level. Next up, I'm going to color code the negative 27, 
which is going to be the 1.27 Fibonacci extension. And from here, we will color the 0.27 to green to match up with the 78.6% retracement. After we've done this, we'll also add on the 0.18, which you'll see here is value percent, negative 18. This is going to be color coded blue to match the 8.6 retracement. Meaning if the market does retrace to the 8.6 retracement level, we expect it to get up to the 1.18 extension level. The 78.6 level, we expect to get to the 1.27%. And then any of these red levels, we expect to get to the 618 red level. Once everything is set the way we like, I click OK. And then I want to make sure that I select template and then save this as a default. So whenever I load on new Fibonacci tools, it's going to keep those settings. Once I have done this, click OK. And now this is how my Fibonacci should look. And as you see, this level came all the way up, hit that 5 Fibonacci level. So we are expecting this to reach that 61.8% Fibonacci extension. Right now it's still in play. We see that the market is still moving. But this is how we would use a Fibonacci on a chart.